Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'll be showing you guys a week in the life of a medical student and a registered nurse. If you guys are interested in watching, follow me along and stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Rami. Next month, I will finally be officially a third year medical student and I am so excited. The years have been flying by, but they're also so, so slow at the same time. So I cannot wait for these last two years to be done and officially be a doctor. This week, I kind of want to vlog a week in my life and kind of show you guys a little bit of everything. Usually I do a day in the lives, but um, it's just so hard for me to vlog a day in the life and kind of remember to keep on vlogging. I'm going to show you guys a little glimpse of every single day. Every day is going to be different this week. For example, today I'm going to be in my family medicine clinic. Tomorrow I'm going to be in didactics. Thursday we'll be in the hospital for OB. We're going to be doing some surgeries and scrubbing in and things like that. Um, and then Friday we're going to end with pediatrics. So I'm going to be in the pediatrics clinic. But yeah, our school kind of has like a system of where half of us are doing pediatrics, OB, and psychiatry, um, which was supposed to be yesterday for me. Which thankfully we didn't have any patients, so I got the day off, which was so nice because I was off Sunday, Monday, and I kind of got to sleep in and rest. It was amazing. I did no studying whatsoever. My week starts today. I am about to head to clinic, so let me take you guys along. guys i've literally been obsessing over avocado toast like i have to have it at least once a day usually i have it for breakfast um it's just so good with this everything bagel seasoning um but since i already ate breakfast i'm just gonna have it for a quick lunch before i head to clinic this oreo protein shake is literally the best protein shake i've ever tasted it literally tastes like oreos like it has bits of oreos in it so good um not sponsored or anything you guys should try it Hey, what you doing? Just cleaning the garage. I have to put an area for my airplane stuff. Mmm, that's and a good then, idea. Yeah, and then you can park on this side, so I'm making your room. Just threw out all the trash and stuff. This is my breast milk freezer. I am running quite low on my bags. Um, and I'm actually weaning. I'm almost done weaning. I'm so excited to not have to pump a whole bunch of times a day. It takes so much time in your day, you guys. It takes me a few hours throughout the day to pump every couple hours so i'm weaning back down to two pumps a day for 20 minutes so that's less than an hour of my time throughout the day i'm so excited to be done since violet is one years old and we're kind of transitioning her to whole milk with some of my breast milk so So at my family medicine clinic, the typical routine is the patient gets checked in, they get their weight and their vitals, and while they're checking in, we're looking at their medical record to see what they need for today, we get everything prepared, any education material that they may need, and then we go and see them, get their history and physical, and just take care of everything they need for that day. We are all done in clinic, that was great, we got to do some lacerations. Um, and do some suturing, which is really fun. It's now 5 p.m., so let me head home because I know there's a ton of traffic right now. Yeah, it's a kick. Good morning, it is Wednesday. It is didactics day, which I have in the afternoon. Just woke up, did my morning pump, and excited for a little bit. Oh my gosh, I was trying to be like those mile one i'm running and i'm not even close to being out of breath girls you see on tiktok but i'm definitely way out of shape to be doing that so anyways mile one i am on mile one i am just doing a mid-afternoon run with bear and we usually just go around the entire lake to make it a mile and a half and that's it it's literally perfect weather to go on a run. It's super windy. Yesterday, after clinic, Kevin and I finally watched Avatar, the second one. Super hard to actually go to the theater with a baby. When Violet was a little tiny baby, like a few months old, we used to take her to the theater all the time. She would just sleep through it, which was really nice. But now 
she's way too active to take her to the theater. So we waited till it came out Then we just had a little movie night. I didn't do any studying, so I need to catch up today for sure. Good morning. I look kind of like an alien. That's okay. Um, it is Thursday morning. It is OB surgery day. We're going to have five cases today, which is kind of a lot. Last week we had two and we got out really early, which was so nice because I got to study the rest of the day. 6.45, I woke up at 5 a.m. to get here on time. It's like an hour drive. Um, but yeah, let's head on in, guys. Got my scrub cap on because I don't like putting on those bouffants like every single surgery. It's just so much easier to have a scrub cap on when you're in the OR because you have to have something to cover your head the entire time you're in the OR. I got my protein bars just in case I get hungry in between cases and that's pretty much it. Let's head on in guys. <laughs> distribute. Today I was actually in a hurry. I'm in clinic from 9 to 5 today. We actually had a ton of patients so far. We're like a walk-in urgent care pediatric clinic so lots of fevers. It's like acute infections and things like that that they probably can't get into their normal PCP pediatric provider. So yeah they're coming to us. We're seeing a lot and it's really fun so far. Look at this super cute Winnie the Pooh pediatric room that we have here. Pretty much the routine is the same as our family medicine clinic. The child gets checked in with their parent and then we take care of whatever concern they have coming in. And we take care of newborns all the way until 18 years old. Let me take you guys on a day in the life of a nurse. Usually around 7.15, I get morning report. And then I look up all my patients, look up all their medications, why they came in, all their order sets, and I make sure to clean my entire desk. And then I pull their medications before I see them in the morning. Usually I come around breakfast time, so they have their pills that they can take with breakfast. I work primarily on an antepartum unit, so long-term high-risk pregnant patients that are here for various reasons. So everyone here will get a prenatal vitamin, everyone will get a stool softener so they aren't straining. And a lot of our patients are also on iron because that is super common in pregnancy because you make a lot of blood and then you just get iron deficient. Then around 11 o'clock, I eat my lunch. I usually eat an early lunch and my husband made a chicken salad. Hey guys, it is lunchtime. This morning was crazy. I did not want to get up this morning. I was literally so tired from this week and I literally did not have any clean scrubs. I'm literally just wearing a regular t-shirt underneath and just a hospital jacket on top and literally maternity scrub pants from when I was pregnant and this morning I was literally getting up the elevator with the CNO of the hospital so I was like great this is perfect but yeah the shift has been great so far I'm glad I did come into work I'm just starving my patients are all chilling right now almost 2 p.m and it is time for my mid-shift coffee break I tried this super yummy scone with blueberry in it and it was the most delicious thing ever and I got a regular latte and I took off my back brace because it was killing me. I literally can't live without it though. And let me show you guys our relaxation and meditation room that our hospital made for us. It's literally a full size massage chair and it smells so good because of the lavender essential oil. It is just amazing to go into and just take a little 15 minute break that we are allowed to get twice a shift and it literally massages you from head to toe. So I took a quick break there and then the rest of the shift was spent getting some afternoon labs for patients and just getting everything else they need before the next shift comes. Woohoo! I am done. Another shift complete and it is still daylight outside. Hi baby! <gasps> Hi sweet girl! Are you on your plane? Can you move around a bit? 
<laughs> Good job. I am home now. Thank you guys so much for following me along this week and for following me along on my journey. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to like this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.